Hello dear friends. So I welcome you in 10th lecture in Life Sciences Studies channel. Myself Khurde Rishikesh and Assistant Professor in Botany subject. So today we are going to discuss about second biomolecule. The biomolecule terminology includes primary molecules and secondary molecules. What these biomolecules are? These biomolecules are studied under the concept of metabolome. What is metabolome? The metabolome includes the molecules. In biochemistry, these molecules are known as metabolites. So we have two metabolites, primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. We will discuss secondary metabolites in our upcoming lectures where it is needed. Today, we will focus upon the primary metabolites. The primary metabolites are of four different types, namely proteins, lipids, carbohydrate, and last but not least, nucleic acid. The nucleic acid contain RNA and DNA as we know very well. So today we are moving or focusing mainly upon the lipid molecules. These lipids, what are these lipid molecules? What is lipid? The lipid from where we can get lipid? This is first question. Every organism require lipid for proper growth and development purpose. These lipids are used mainly for either storage purpose as stored energy form or these lipids can be used in membranes of each and every cell. No any cell can be made up without of lipids. Nobody can think about making cell without inclusion of lipids. The lipids plays the major constituent of any membrane of every cell. Whether it is a liver cell or hepatic cell, heart cell which is a cardiac cell or brain cell or neuron cell. In case of animal, in case of plants, in case of bacteria, each membrane of cell is made up of these lipid molecules. These lipids are stored in human being in form of oil droplets. Lipids are nothing but the oil or fat which is in common language can be said to the lipids. In human being lipids are stored in the form of oil droplet in the adipose tissue in case of stomach in male human being and these uh, oil droplets are used as a reserved food material for that organisms. So in many hibernating organisms such as many bears uses these lipids to store their food material for the duration of six months which is very incredible which is hibernation period many hibernating organism uses this methodology to store their food material in other organisms also these lipids performs the storage Role. And as we have said, the lipids are the constituent of membrane. So what are these lipids? It is must to know the architecture of single lipid molecule as I have shown you on the screen about the lipids. So what are these lipids? Lipids are very simple molecule in which you will find one glycerol molecule which contain three carbon atoms. Three carbon atom of glycerol engaged each with three different fatty acids when one glycerol molecule which contain three carbon atoms and each carbon of that glycerol is engaged with three fatty acid that overall unit is known as a lipid and three fatty acids means tri and triacyl with that glycerol mean glycerol so triacyl glycerol is one of the type of lipid you can find and these TAG are used as oil droplet to store food material in case of human beings. So this TAG up till we have understood is a form of lipid. So it is necessary to understand about the individual fatty acid in that TAG or triacylglycerol or lipid. So what are these fatty acid are doing there and how we can study about fatty acid if you separate the single fatty acid aside these fatty acids are very unique in nature each fatty acid contain two different types of ends means one end of the fatty acid is uncharged and another end of fatty acid is charged the uncharged end is non-polar and charged end is polar so whenever molecule contain two polar and non-polar ends at the same time that molecule is known as amphipathic molecule. So naturally this fatty acid occur in amphipathic in nature. The one end contain methyl group which is non-polar 
which is uncharged and another end of the fatty acid contain carboxylic group which is polar charged so non-polar end and polar end containing fatty acid is known as amphipathic molecule so the question is how can we number this fatty acid or how can we designate the number of each carbon in this fatty acid fatty acid means what the chain of carbon and hydrogen that's it and at the one end there is a carboxylic group and another end there is a methyl group in between that you will find the carbon and hydrogen are attached with each other each carbon is attached to the another carbon by the single bond here in this case and they can freely rotate around each other as in chemistry you know very well so the bonding between carbon and carbon in fatty acid chain is always in cis conformation type there are two conformations for bonding available in chemistry cis and trans but remember there is a cis conformation so fatty acids are always cis conformation in nature occurrence we are talking about how can we number the each carbon present in that fatty acid sorry so the fatty acid can be nomenclature in two way either by n designation or by delta designation gen designation and delta designation there is a difference between numbering system of carbon in n designation you can number carbon from methyl group so the methyl group end which is non polar end we considered as the first carbon then second third fourth five and so forth in delta designation we can number the carbon from carboxylic end so the carboxylic end location will be the first carbon then second third fourth so there is a difference in numbering system and generally in many standard reference books delta designation number system is generally used so whenever you find in the textbook about this type of designation please don't get confused because they are very unique way to represent the number of carbons in that fatty acid chain so here is a example for you the a fatty acid type and b fatty acid type what is the difference between them the a fatty acid is nothing but straight in form but the b fatty acid is bended in certain location okay so the carbon between 7 and 8 where that fatty acid has been bent in case of b fatty acid why this happens so if you see the first a fatty acid all the carbons are bonded by single bond only so and in case of b fatty acid the location between 7th and 8th carbon there is a one double bond present so that double bond is reason you are responsible for causing the bend or kink in fatty acid chain so no double bond the straight fatty acid chain one double bond causes the bend in that fatty acid chain here i have shown you one double bond so it doesn't mean that only one double bond contain or present in that fatty acid double bond number may vary accordingly so for example here we have a 14 carbon chain the carbons which are present in fatty acid are 14 and no double bond is there that fatty acid is known as meristic acid if we have 16 carbons in that chain then the fatty acid is known as palmitic acid and if 18 carbons are present in chain then that fatty acid is known as steric acid that acid no name comes due to the carboxylic group present in that fatty acid chain so we have uh, meristic acid palmitic acid steric acid and you can see the carbons which are present 14 16 and 18 respectively you will never find the fatty acid which contain 15 carbon or 21 carbon or 27 carbon never because each fatty acid is made up of two carbon unit which is known as acetyl coa so obviously the each fatty acid always contain even number of carbons so 12 14 16 18 20 such type of number you can observe in fatty acid always and obviously because of acetyl coa is responsible for the ma making of fatty acid okay that's it so we have reached up to this 14 16 18 carbon with no double bonds but what happen if double bond comes in fatty acid chain for example in 18 carbon chain which is known as steric acid if we add one double bond at any location doesn't matter 
we can write this form of double bonded fatty acid in such a way that 18 as to 1 delta 6 means what 18 means 18 carbon chain of fatty acid 1 means one double bond is there and delta 6 means the double bond is located between 6th and 7th carbon of that fatty acid this is nothing but the nomenclature system for that fatty acid to represent about fatty acid every time you cannot draw the fatty acid chain and mention the double bond in that fatty acid this is the way how we represent the bonds in fatty acids once one double bond comes in 18 carbon chain of fatty acid the name is given to that fatty acid is oleic acid not steric acid steric acid is one in which no double bonds but still containing 18 carbons but when 18 carbon chain contain one double bond it is oleic acid but what happen if two double bonds comes so we can represent it as 18 as to 2 delta 6 comma 9 so tell me what it is 18 means 18 carbon chain 2 means 2 double bonds delta 6 means the double bond first is present between 6th and 7th and the, uh, 9 means the double bond is present second double bond is present between 9th and 10th so here is something question type or tip for you tell me what is this how can you uh, explain this to me so the 20 means the fatty acid which is given is 20 carbon containing fatty acid 4 means 4 double bonds are there delta 5 means the first double bond is present at the fifth and sixth carbon atom always remember each double bond is separated by three carbon units or three carbon atoms each double bond is separated by three carbon atoms so first double bond is between 5 and 6 so automatically second double bond will come between 8 and 9 third double bond will come between 11 and 12 fourth double bond will come between 14 and 15 fifth double bond will come between because there is no fifth bond because there are only four double bonds are there so don't get confused 20 as to 4 delta 5 indicates the overall explanation about that fatty acid and you should know about this because this is something on which questions are designed and this is very easy many times we ignore this but this is something where you can earn your marks okay so here we have reached fatty acid without double bonds and fatty acids with double bonds so fatty acid which do not contain any double bond is known as saturated fatty acid fatty acid with without double bond or no double bond is saturated fatty acid and fatty acid with many double bonds or say single double bond or only double bonds that fatty acid is known as unsaturated fatty acids so saturated fatty acids with no double bonds and unsaturated fatty acids are with double bonds in this room temperature almost around 28 degrees celsius you will find the oil which contain more unsaturated fatty acid that oil will be remaining in liquid form and the, uh, uh, the material which contain more uh, fatty acids with single bond or no double bond that material will be in solid form so why it is obviously the double bonds causes kink in fatty acid chain which make them separate from each other so they remain away from each other and maintain the liquid state so it's okay if you don't understand this you have to understand or remember that fatty acids saturated and unsaturated are the two different types if the, your food whatever you are eating is containing more fatty acid which are unsaturated means pufa polyunsaturated fatty acid that food material is very healthy uh, is considered as because it is acts as an antioxidant and maintain your younger state so find the food which contain polyunsaturated fatty acid various industrial level PUFA research is going on so initially I told you that carbon atoms in fatty acids are jointed by cis conformation which is a natural thing and essential thing but sometime on street food if you use continuously the same oil for different purposes or same purposes but the oil is same but continuous burning the oil the cis conformation is converted into the trans conformation so that trans 
बॉन्डेड फैटी एसिड्स आर ऑलवेज कार्सिनोजेनिक इन नेचर विच कॉजेज कैंसर बिकॉज दैट इज नॉट नेचुरल विच इज समथिंग डिफरेंट फॉर आवर बॉडी एंड दैट मे बी द रीजन फॉर कॉजिंग कैंसर सो प्लीज अवॉइड स्ट्रीट फूड एज पीपल से ड्यू टू दिस बिकॉज ट्रांस फैटी एसिड आर प्रोड्यूस्ड ड्यू टू द कंटिन्यूसली यूजिंग द सेम ऑइल सो ओके वी हैव स्टडीड टूडे अब वॉट आर दिस टी ए जी द ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल कंटेन थ्री फैटी एसिड्स एंड वी हैव सीन द फैटी एसिड्स विच कंटेन द चेन ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन्स वन एंड मिथिल ग्रुप वन एंड सी ओ ओ एच सो द ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल एंड फैटी एसिड आर कनेक्टेड बाय द ईस्टर बॉन्ड पॉइंट आउट दिस सो थ्री ईस्टर बॉन्ड्स ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल थ्री एट फैटी एसिड ट्राई असाइल ग्लिसरॉल सो इट्स ओके In this lecture, we have studied about storage lipids. In next lecture, we will study about the membrane lipids. So, we will meet in next lecture. Till stay tuned and subscribe this channel so you will get notification about new videos. Thank you for your time. We will visit in our next lecture. Take care.